This is a very special Thanksgiving for a pearl man. Stephanie Bell Flint has more in Medical Matters. Love stories like this. By all accounts, Virgil Broom should be a dead man. Instead, he's keeping up a pace that most people half his age can't handle. I got in the um, truck and I pulled up from the shop to get somebody to help me hook the trailer up. And that's when I died. I had, didn't have no pain, no nothing. My heart just quit. Virgil Broom is a walking miracle, and Jeff Pierce, who runs Broom's Body Shop, is a witness to it. He found Broom after hearing a revving truck engine. I opened the door up, and he was laid over, so I cut the engine off and hollered at one of my boys uh, to bring a blanket, and me and him got Mr. Broom out, laid him down, we started CPR on him. Broom's heart stopped three more times before he reached Baptist Medical Center, where everything suddenly turned in his favor. But it all still fell in the people that knew what to do at the right time. That's what counted. The emergency staff at Baptist immediately began lowering Broom's body temperature, then tightly regulated it with a hypothermia cart. We want to keep them really between about 93 degrees and 89 degrees. If you're not, if you don't get cold enough, you get no benefit from the therapy. If you get too cold, you get some bad side effects from the therapy. ER physician Dr. Eric Zug says the benefit is to protect the brain from a lack of blood flow. This catheter is inserted into the patient into the uh, real deep veins in the abdomen and a little bit into the chest. The chilled saline is run through the catheter without ever entering the patient's bloodstream. You can see those balloons Ooh. inflate. My daughter said, Daddy, that, that guy in the emergency room immediately packed you and ice, and he said, that's what saved you. Not only did it save Broom, it preserved his quality of life. If I hadn't had the ice, I would not have had no memory. I would have been a vegetable. Instead, he spends his time maintaining an immaculate lawn and piddling in his body shop. And for more health news, you can log on to our website, WLBT.com, and click on Medical Matters. An amazing story. What a it's wonderful, wonderful. Delightful guy. Just, I mean, great personality. I'm glad he's still here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Stephanie.